Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Today we want to talk about the PackSafe hoodie and jacket. And jacket. Uh, these are anti-theft jackets and hoodies. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about the hoodie in particular, so we thought we'd do an in-depth review about what's included in it, what the size and fit is like, and some additional things. If you're not familiar with PackSafe, they are a company that makes anti-theft accessories, clothing, but they're mainly known for their backpacks and recently they've been expanding to, uh, to their to clothing. So it's been pretty fun like uh, trying out their new clothing. Um, last time we reviewed their pants mm -hmm. and that's in another video if you want to check that out. But today we are excited to show the jackets. Yeah. I'm going to start with my jacket first. Um, the main difference between this jacket and Crystal's jacket is mine does not have a hood. So mm -hmm. It's also a little bit more, I want to say, more businessy. Yeah. Um, the fit is um, slim fit, and it has obviously the uh, anti theft features, but I did want to first go over the way it fit. Um, it does slim right here at the waist, so it's not boxy, which I really like that. Um, I really don't like boxy clothing, because it just doesn't, I don't know, it's just not feminine for me, so I really appreciate that this is a slim fit. Mm -hmm. um, the style here with like the cuffs is a little bit different color. Um, here on the side too, it's a little bit different color here. It's like a dark gray, so there's like a little bit of contrast there. Um, and the zipper, I like how they use a black zipper, so it kind of um, blends in with the jacket. And it's got two zippers, mm -hmm. so. It's one of those where you can adjust it the way you want. I've actually never done that. <laughs> I didn't even know it was possible to do that. Uh, but I have seen people do that. I don't. Really? I, yeah. No. I don't know if like if they get hot and instead of just removing the jacket or completely opening it, maybe that's why they do that. Huh. I've just never done that, so. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, but but it does have that feature. If that person that uses that feature, I. Maybe you can tell us why you use that feature, but we've never used it. Before you get into those features, could you say what size you are and what size this jacket is? Yeah. I get that question a lot. Yeah, uh, this is a extra small mm -hmm. and I'm a 32D uh, and 25 on the waist. Mm -hmm. So I think, I would say it would fit for 32, 34 mm -hmm. um, and the waist maybe 25, 26. I think if you're if you go a little bit above that, it might start getting a little tight. Yeah, because I um, I try to wear this and it's a little bit too tight on me. It fits okay, but it was definitely tight on the arms and I'm more curvier than Candy is, so I like to have a little bit more room. So probably a size small would work for me in this. I'm five foot nine. Uh, my waist is probably about 28, I'd say, if you're 25. Um, and my bust is 36C. So yeah, I just need a little bit more room, um, a wiggle room. Um, I also, whenever I buy jackets, I'm pretty picky about the sleeve length. Mm -hmm. So if you're that type of person, this one is the perfect length. Um, I usually like it like that, or I actually kind of like sleeves a little bit longer as well. Uh, so if you're the type of person that's picky about sleeve length, um, these are, I want to say, they're not the type where it really extends. Um, past your wrist, so they are kind of like they make it just right uh, lengthwise. So just keep that in mind if you're a picky sleeve length person. One more feature before we get into the inside of these jackets is the material of these jackets is pretty awesome. They are antibacterial. They're treated with poly. I think it's called Polygene, um, which I didn't know what that was <laughs> before. But basically, the material. Um, that they use and how it's treated is that it, it helps um, fight bacteria and odor. Mm -hmm. So you can wear these a lot longer without having to wash it multiple times. So you can wear it, which is great if you're traveling because you don't really have a washer or dryer um, a lot of the times. So you can get multiple, you can wear this multiple times before actually having to wash it, which is great if you're traveling and also great for the environment because you're not having to use the washer as much. So mm -hmm. that's one thing I really like about the material that they use. And it's actually soft. Like you would think because it's treated with these type of things that the material won't be good. But it's nice, comfy, soft material. So if you're worried that's gonna be hard material, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't worry about that. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we kind of discussed that, I'm gonna take this off and show you all the cool features inside. So, I don't know if you can see, but 
There's multiple pockets and yes, they have zippers. I hate when there's pockets inside and there's no zippers because things fall out when you bend down and I do not want that accent. So it's got um, a headphones pocket. It's got a pocket for your wallet. It's got a pen pocket. Yeah. But every travel bag or I don't know, any type of travel accessory, they always put like a little pen pocket and I always wonder, do people use that? I don't know. I mean, I've never used I've never I've heard used my stack, it. Yeah. Anyways, another there. feature that's there that we've never used. <laughs> um, let's go to the other side. So you can actually uh, let's see. There's a big pocket here for your phone, and then for sunglasses. And what's cool also about um, these jackets is that they are RFID safe, which means that. Um, if someone tries to scan your credit card or your passport, it blocks that. Which I, and I, again, that's another feature I never really knew until I started looking into anti-theft. Um, what anti-theft really meant besides, you know, just locking systems, but it's also a way to protect. Um, there's actually scanners out there that people use that can just like steal your credit card information. It's, I mean, it's not like super common, but it, it does happen and I actually know someone that it happened to them where someone scanned her boyfriend's credit card and because um, it was in his pocket. So it does happen. It's rare, but it's nice to have that um, peace of mind that, that it is RFID safe. A lot of wallets have that technology. So I, I think it's great that they include that in their clothing and not just with their wallets and bags. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, um, oh, <laughs> one more thing. I love that they did not put a tag here. Yeah. I hate that so much, it's so itchy. Um, they were kind enough to put it on the bottom here and you can, you know, and you can cut that off and it'll be fine. But yes, thank you for not putting a tag right here because uh, I hate that so much. You have like a little loop here too that you could hang up your yeah. jacket on. So yeah, so this is I feel like a little bit more um, non-casual, I want to say. If you mm -hmm. want to look a little bit more sophisticated on your flight or your travels, this is I think the one to go with. And then Crystal is wearing the more casual yes. uh, jacket here. Yeah, I'm more of a casual type, so I really wanted the hoodie. And I'm kind of uh, guessing a lot more women are kind of going towards this jacket or this hoodie because I've gotten so many questions about it. Um, so finally got one, because <laughs> I wanted one too. Uh, but they didn't have my size for the longest time, so I finally got it. Uh, so this is a size S. Um, I could maybe go size medium because it is uh, very snug on me um, and I do like a little bit more room so if you're that type that wants to have a little bit more uh, wiggle room maybe go with the size medium if you're my measurements. Um, I actually like it fitted. Yeah, like Candy this. likes it really fitted. So I was like, no, don't go up a size. It I know, great, I know. But she really does like a little just, bit more. I, I'm just saying maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I might go medium because I, I just like to have a little bit more um, room. Uh, but I mean, I love the feel of it. It's very comfortable. Candy said, you know, mentioned the material. Same kind of material. Um, it's protected. So uh, it's very thick too. So it's very, very warm. It'll be great for uh, traveling when you're on the airplane because airplanes always make it so freaking cold. Yeah. I don't know why. I, do you think this is a little bit thicker than this one? I think it is. Yeah, I think um, this one's a little bit this thicker. This does feel a lot thicker. Um, and then I love love pockets. <laughs> They've definitely put a lot of pockets in this hoodie. Um, so there's one right here. This is probably like my favorite pocket up here. Yeah, because this one does not have that pocket yeah. on, the, on the up. So I like this pocket up front. There's also these two hidden pockets here. If you want, you could put stuff in here. There's also side pockets here. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, and then the hoodie actually fits really cool. You know sometimes Hoodies don't fit, or yeah. they don't look right when you put it on, but this actually has a structure to it, and you could put it up to your chin or, or your Yeah, they make it a little mouth. bit bigger so that when you're on your flight, you can kind of mm -hmm. use it as like an eye mask to yeah. kind of cover your... So, you know, I could go over a little bit, and you know, you can cover your mouth if you're like, if your face is cold, you know, you could do this. <laughs> um, they have some strings, so you could tighten it. Uh, another good thing too I noticed is, you know how some jackets, even when you put it up that high, the zipper's exposed, they actually make mm. an extra flap here, so it's not uncomfortable. So that's a really good feature. So thoughtful. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm really hot in this, because like I said, it's super warm. Um, 
Okay, so inside, kind of similar to what Candy had on her jacket. Um, sorry, I still have a tag on it. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, this is the phone in here that you could put in. So it's a very deep pocket. I almost feel like an iPad could fit in there. A mini iPod, iPad, probably. Yeah, um, a mini one, because look how big that is. Yeah, possibly. It's actually, like, it goes down to there. Possibly an iPad. We'll test that yeah, out. We're because it does have an iPad, sign, like a smart tablet yeah. sign icon on there. So, yeah, you could probably fit an iPad in there. Uh, there also is another bottom pocket here. So it has a glasses icon so you could put your glasses in there. Um, but anything really. If you're trying to like take weight off of your carry-on, these are great pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Just put everything yeah. in your pocket. Okay. And then the other side. Um, so this actually has a Velcro on it and this is where you put your headphones. Oh, that's different. Yeah, so it's a little bit different. So it'll be easier to access your headphones, I guess. Um, and then you could put more things in this deep pocket here. So this one would actually fit, if you're the type of person that carries those long wallets, it'll mm -hmm. fit in there, not just like the small, small wallets. Yeah. And again, we've got the pen or pencil holder. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's useful. Um, or maybe like for the tab, like the iPads and tablets. Yeah, like, yeah uh, that could work. Maybe that's mm -hmm. why they put that there. Yeah, a mystery so for us, we never use it. I just, <laughs> yeah, I, I just always put my pens in my backpack, but I could see how it is useful because yeah. when you don't have your backpack with you on an airplane, for example, and you know sometimes you have to fill out some forms. Like, for example, when we go to Japan, we always have to fill out the immigration form, and everybody asks me for a pen because I always have it in my backpack. But if they had this jacket, they could just put a pen in their jacket and not have to worry about asking for a pen. Yeah, so that's cool. So the major differences, I think, between the two jackets, this one has a lot more exterior pockets. Mm -hmm. uh, this one just has the main, you know, the two on the bottom, but this one has one up on the top on the breast. It has two right here, mm -hmm. and then it has um, the, side the side pockets. And then the hoodie. Yeah. So I think that's like the major difference between um, mm -hmm. the two. I mean, obviously the style is different, right. but as far as like pockets and um, uh, functionality, I think those are like the mm -hmm. the big differences. Yeah. But I mean, I I really like it. I'm gonna be using this a lot on my travels. So hopefully this review was helpful. And if you have any more questions, please let us know in the comments below. And if you wanna see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure to hit that bell on the side over there too because you'll get notifications on when the new videos will pop up. We post weekly videos, so keep on checking back. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.